Hello everyone. I'm going to discuss uh, the solution to example 3 on buoyancy. And this is the problem. A rectangular barge 18 feet wide by 46 feet long by 9 feet deep floats empty with a draft of 4 feet in a canal lock 28 feet wide by 56 feet long and water depth 7 feet when empty barge is present. So determine the original depth of water in the lock when the loaded barge is removed. And second question, the depth of water in the canal lock when 170,000 pounds are loaded onto the barge. So let's draw the figure first when the empty barge is present. So these are the information that we have the canal lock 28 feet uh, wide, perpendicular to the screen 56 feet, and water depth of 7 feet when this empty barge is present. And the empty barge has a draft of 4 feet. So, and the width of the barge is 18 feet perpendicular to the board or to the screen, it is 46 feet long. So from here, we can compute this volume display sub 1 by computing this volume under the water surface. So when this empty barge is removed, naturally the original water level will be lesser than 7 feet. So it is denoted here with this above. So take note that no water is added in the lock. So therefore, the analysis is volume of water up to this level, 7 feet, minus volume displaced one should be equal to the original volume of water in the lock when the empty barge is removed. And the analysis goes like this. So for volume displaced one, it is 18 by 46 feet long, the barge, and by 4 feet. So volume displaced one is equal to 3,312 cubic feet. Then for the original depth, again, volume at this level here, less volume displaced one should be equated to this original volume of water in the lock. So that is... 28 times 7, 28 times 56 feet times 7 minus volume displaced 1 equals 28 times 56 times this above. So that should be the equation. So 28 times 56 times 7 minus volume displaced 1 equals 28 times 56 times this above. So from here we can compute this above equal to 4.888 feet. Then the depth of water in the canal lock when 170,000 pounds are loaded onto the barge. So when an additional of 170,000 pounds are loaded onto the barge, the volume displaced would increase from volume displaced one plus this additional volume displaced. So this additional volume displaced, VA, is computed from weight 170,000 pounds equals specific weight of water 62.4 pounds per cubic foot times volume additional. So 170,000 equals specific weight of water times volume additional. So that means the volume additional is 2724.359 cubic feet. So for the second question, we are asked about this uh, depth in the canal lock when an additional of 170,000 pounds are loaded onto the barge. So naturally, this is expected to be greater than 7 because the, we have an additional volume displaced which will rise the level. So the analysis again is volume up to this final level here, which is 28 times 56 times D sub F less VD1 less quantity VD1 plus VA should be equal to the original volume of water in the lock because remember, there's no water added into the lock. So that is 
28 times 56 times d sub f minus quantity 3312 plus VA, which is 2724.359, is equal to original volume of water in the lock, which is 28 times 56 times d sub o, which is 4.888. So finally, we only have DF as the only unknown here. So solving for DF, it is equal to 7.738 feet. So that's it for this problem. I hope that you were able to understand and follow the solutions.